The Picatinny Arsenal Public Affairs last week reported that U.S. Army soldiers are getting a chance to evaluate and train with a new armored turret system for the armored multi-purpose vehicle, the latest U.S. Army platform within the high-priority next-generation combat vehicle modernization program. The new Objective Commander's Weapon Station integrates with all five variants of the AMPV, a general-purpose vehicle, mission command vehicle, mortar carrier, medical evacuation and medical treatment vehicles. The AMPV is currently in low-rate production. The OCWS system, which addresses the ongoing need to develop advanced armor protection and capabilities for soldiers, is part of the broad sweep of modernization efforts within the U.S. Army. The Advanced Protection Kit has a new armor alloy and a titanium hatch design. The OCWS turret protects the vehicle commander, who operates as the gunner on the top side of the vehicle. Essential features include periscopes, motorized rotation and a spacious interior that allows the gunner to perform complex missions under protection. The weapon mount on the system gives the gunner full access to the suite of crew-served weapons, providing a range of firepower options. The OCWS was developed and prototyped by engineers at the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command Armament Center at Picatinny Arsenal, New Jersey. The Armament Center reports to the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command, which is part of Army Futures Command. The OCWS is definitely one of our more sophisticated turret systems, said Thomas Keel, who leads the engineering activity for U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps Armored and Tactical Vehicle Turrets within the DEVCOM Armaments Center Force Protection Team. The AMPV was developed to operate on the front lines of the battlefield, and our team had to accommodate the challenging requirements associated with that. The OCWS includes a combination of opaque and transparent armor that is specially configured to provide advanced protection and situational awareness for the commander. The Armament Center works closely with DEVCOM's Army Research Laboratory to ensure that the high-performing armor materials are lightweight, affordable and readily available. Our initial prototype was integrated with the vehicle at the test site for a formal user evaluation, said Narayan Bhagavatula, program led for gunner protection systems within program manager Soldier Lethality, also located at Picatinny Arsenal. Through advanced modeling, we can predict the behavior of our turrets under extreme stress, as well as understand how the system will be used during combat, said Kiel. The engineering data we generate is treated as a weapon system and is managed and secured as such, he added. The DEVCOM Armament Center has the lead within the DoD in the development of tactical vehicle turret systems. More than 50,000 systems have been fielded on a variety of platforms, including the Humvee, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, the MRAP all-terrain vehicle and others. Objective gunner protection kit turrets are standard for the joint light tactical vehicle. At least 14 patents have been issued related to the development of turret systems, including three that were selected as Army's greatest inventions.